Okay, so I am having some success here too. This little fella keeps visiting our garden. He looks quite an unusual pigeon though. Sometimes when I look at him, he's got sort of a human quality about him, like he's trying to talk to me. That reminds me All of I a story by Michael Morpurgo and Ross Collins. I looked up from my book and saw a bird at my window. All I said was, hi there bird. You know what I'd like? I'd like to be you. I'd like to be able to fly off to any place I liked. That would be good. And he said, that's fine with me. Just open the window and I'll come in. I'll lie on your bed and read a book. I've always wanted to read a book. So in he hopped and off I flew. I flew out over the rooftops and down towards the sea. I was thinking, wings are best. Wings are great. This flying lark is amazing. I want to be a bird all my life. But then, as I skimmed low over the beach, the gulls came after me. There was an army of them all out to get me. So I flew in over the land, over the rivers and the fields. And what happened? The crows mobbed me. So I landed in a field to hide. And what happened? A farmer chased me. I don't know how I got out of there, but I did. I'd had enough of all this by now. I was thinking, books are better, a whole lot better. Next time, I'll just read a book about being a bird. I'll just imagine it. It'll be safer that way. I'll live longer. I flew back to town and landed at my window. And there he was, lying on my bed, reading my book. Only the odd thing was, he didn't look like a bird anymore. He looked like me. Then I saw myself in the window. I was still a bird. I tapped on the window with my beak. He looked up at me. Hi there, bird, he said. You know what? I'm reading a great story. It's all about a boy like me who wants to be a bird like you. So he does a swap and becomes a bird. Trouble is, turns out he can't change back. He's a bird for the rest of his life. Isn't that a shame? So what do you think, human or pigeon? I'll let you decide.